All I can say about the new episode of The Mandalorian is, well, wow. <laughs> My goodness, the feeling that show arouses by its music alone. I, I, I love the soundtrack. Uh, and then its cinematography, its choreography, its art. I can't explain really at the moment. <laughs> I mean, it's joy. I can say that much. <laughs> Great joy, in fact. Look, guys, I haven't felt like this for a Star Wars movie or series in a long while. And this show, if it continues in the way it's been written and filmed, and they focus on what they got to do, and what is making it so successful, I can dare say we'll put it up there with films like Empire Strikes Back or even Star Wars The Clone Wars, a series I love dearly with all my heart. So, during the episode, and spoiler warning, during the episode, uh, it's revealed that the baby Yoda, or toddler Yoda, <laughs> he rescued in the first episode, is Force-sensitive. And not only that, but could very well be potentially on par with greats like the mighty Yoda himself. Um, and one scene, the, the child actually rescues the Mando during a beast hunt um, that was provoked by the Jawas. Yep. Those uh, infamous pesky thieving Jawas are in this episode. <laughs> um, who, uh, after they steal like essential parts of the ship, um, send him like on an errand to steal like this egg that like in the end, after like he nearly dies in his attempt to take it, is used for like nothing more than a delicacy. <laughs> Which anyway is funny. But uh, the coolest scene for me in the episode is like while in battle he's like about to be trampled by the mud horn and like the force sensitive child uh uses the force to lift the beast into the air i mean it looked just like yoda in empire strikes back like when he recovered luke's ship from out of the swamp waters on dagobah uh i'm telling you that scene was awesome and it like left me with a lot of questions, like crazy ones. <laughs> like perhaps this could even be like a reincarnated Yoda or something. Like a reincarnated Yoda. And like, but you know, I'm like, I'm like reminded of him currently as a force ghost. And so I've like put that thought aside for the time being. <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah. And then the episode starts out with an awesome fight uh, against like, you know, bounty hunters who are like trying to take the kid and like eventually leads to a very hilarious skirmish against the Jawas um, which takes him to the top of like their sand crawler like fortress thing and also like gives you like a deeper look into like their way of life their thinking their habits and their culture and like they're hilarious like the banter that takes place between the Mandalorian and the Jawas had me cracking up like, I'm telling you, this episode was just so full of great things, and I'm still in awe, and, like, I can't wait to see it again. Um, so, again, this video, I just, like, made it, like, I'm half asleep, I'm supposed to be sleeping right now, and I, like, stayed up till the episode came on, and I'm going to bed. But um, I'm just hoping that this winning streak continues, not only for the sake of Lucasfilm, but for the sake of the fans on both sides. And um, I'm truly digging this title. And I can't wait for next Friday. Uh, finally, guys, something to look forward to in the house that George built. And so, like, anyway, let me go calm down. And I'll hit you guys up soon with another video after next week's episode. <laughs> Maverick out.